out tonight? What, what the imaging show? Um, Shane's got a sprain, sprained shoulder, very, very sore. Um, so out tonight and, and for the foreseeable future. Um, you know, obviously he'll continue to strengthen and work on it with our training staff and everything else. Um, but I don't anticipate it back anytime soon. Is surgery a possibility or no, in? not right now. No, not, not from what anything we've been told. Um, but he got he got hit pretty good. And uh, but the imaging um, suggested that surgery probably won't be needed. You guys have uh, used him in, in various roles this year. Uh, it's kind of a game changer, pace changer. How does your team change and whip out in the mix? Yeah, I mean, we're just going to have to have other guys step up. We're used to that. Um, so at the end of the day, that, that is what it is. He's played, he's played really well in this series uh, and has done a lot of great things for us all year and through the playoffs. So it's a bummer for him. Um, I think that's all where you always start in these scenarios. Uh, and then we'll figure it out. Coach, uh, for all you have said, he's uh, been stabilizing force for, for you guys all year. And for you, uh, doing the ups and downs in the season, do you have conversation with him to ask him to step in as a leader or he just react to it naturally? Al? Yeah. Um, I mean, I've never had a conversation about leadership with Al in my life. Like, he's, he is, uh, all he has to do is be himself on and off the court, and he's as good of a role model and leader as you can have. Is there a fine line now that you reach game five, maybe even game four, where you have to kind of say, hey, don't get involved in all the back and forth chatter, or the, the kind of the, not the aggression, but the, the trash talking that goes on during the game and you keep the guys on their game? Well, I mean, I think you have to play with a chip, but you have to play with boys. It's a fine line, obviously. Yeah, I think that's, that's the right way to put it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's funny because as these series go on, it's always like, is this series getting chippy? Well, yeah, they all do. Every series gets chippy, and when you're playing a team five straight times, it's going to be that way. Um, I mean, we, you know, all of us, you know, play open gym get chippy after five straight games, so it's just the way it goes. Um, but it's, uh, but there is a, you have to maintain your points. How much does it help, Coach, that your guys have already been through a long seven-game series, so they kind of, they've experienced how to balance that, that chippiness with playing with force? Um, yeah, I think all the experiences help us. I thought the Milwaukee um, series, you know, has helped us in a lot of ways as we've moved through this one. Um, you've got to be able to bounce back from a good game. You've got to be able to bounce back now from a game where we got beat, um, you know, those types of things. and. It's hard. It's hard to win. It's hard to win any game, but it's certainly hard to win against a really good team in the playoffs. How does a guy like, like Tatum make what seems like an, almost an organic transition to being more of a go-to guy versus a guy who's just kind of really figuring out his role prior to this series? Well, I don't think his role has changed. I just think, you know, when we have certain actions that we'll call for him and go to him, sometimes you call him, sometimes you don't. You know, when Kyrie's out there, you're not calling as many of those. Um, but he certainly is a guy that, you know, has gotten used to um, making big plays his whole life. And, and I think that that's something that he's always kind of envisioned himself as. Were you ever concerned at any point that maybe, you know, maybe sometimes the moment might be too big for him at any time? No. Is Jalen still on a minute restriction? Uh, from everything that I know, but he, he's felt better each day, each off day. He's felt a little bit better than the off day before. So, um, you know, that continues to, to go up just bit by bit. One thing Brett Brown has talked about a lot is that your speed gives him issues. How, how does it kind of swing that, that TJ McConnell has been put in the starting lineup and now Shane's out? How, how much is that impressive to you? Well, TJ just makes a lot of right basketball plays. He's very tough. He hangs around, um, you know, on rebounds. He hangs around in the backcourt. He gives you energy. He, plays his role. He doesn't need the ball. You know, I think that all those things are really important and he's given him a great lift. Um, their, their speed is obviously very good with him on the court um, and they've got a ton of other guys around him that can not only open things up for his drives, but then, you know, you have to, you have to pick how much help you're going to give. So, um, you know, again, I feel bad for Shane. We're going to have to figure that out. Um, but first and foremost, I feel bad for Shane. Thank you. Thanks, please.